Hi, uh, thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be taking a trip down memory lane with these four beers that I remember the first beers that I ever tried and I drank for a long time before I actually got turned into a beer snob and appreciate better beers now. Probably the first one I remember is Bud Light. They didn't have uh, Bush in the store today, so I guess Bush was the first one, but that's very light. As a dark beer drinker now, that almost doesn't even look like beer to me. That looks like sparkling water. But I used to like it. Let's see what it tastes like. There's hardly any flavor. <clears throat> what does it taste like? On a scale of 1 to 10, the flavor on this thing is like a 1. It's, it's very weak. I remember having to drink a ton of these just to feel anything, and then you spend all the night peeing in the woods. Yeah, I'll pass on that one. The next one, Coors Light. Yeah, the cans are a lot fancier than they are when I used to drink this. It's another very, very light beer. Hmm. They look exactly the same. I hope they don't taste the same. I didn't think it was possible to taste any less flavor than the Bud Light. This actually has less flavor than the Bud Light. Amazing. Mm. Now this... I'm going to switch these. Keystone Light. This can is definitely different than the original when it first came out. This was supposed to be bottled beer flavor in a can. I never I never got that impression back when I used to drink it in the day, but uh, I spent a lot of years drinking this and thinking it was the greatest thing ever. Oh, one thing I noticed, this one's got a much bigger head. Once again, it barely, it's a lighter color than the Coors, lighter color than the Bud Light. Is it possible that this tastes exactly like water? It's water with a head. Amazing. Zero beer flavor. Wow. I'm holding out better hope for this one because I drank this one probably the most out of all of these. They say they're military friendly. I'm a veteran. They're not. They pissed me off. They don't get my support anymore. I didn't want to buy this, but it's for this test. Well, it, it has a big head, too. I know the normal way to drink these beers is to pour the glass the beer down the side so you don't get a big head. Uh, I say I'm a dark beer drinker now, and those you want to pour right hard down the center of the glass. The head doesn't get very big, but it releases 
aroma, which... Mmm. I have no idea what that smells like. It doesn't smell like beer. Like moldy plastic. Mmm. Wow. I don't even think that would taste good on a hot summer day. And it was ice cold. It's very... All of these, I would say, on the flavor scale of 1 to 10 are a 1. Meaning, no flavor. None. But, unfortunately, I wasn't raised to waste food, so I'm going to have to drink all of these. Probably run to the bathroom about ten times. But, I can't wait to do the next video where I'm going to uh, move up the progression. I'm a porter, I'm a stout guy. I'm even going to try IPAs. I'm going to try them all. I'm going to try them all. Because, at one time, I liked these until I didn't. Now I like porters and stouts. I never really gave IPAs a chance because I don't like the hops flavor. I'm a multi guy. But this is my science experiment and I'm going to enjoy going down it. So till next time.